Hey there movie buffs, wannabe producers, and number crunchers! Today, we're going to take a deep dive into the budget of MCU's upcoming release, The Marvels. Is it possible that the next part of Captain Marvel will turn out to be a financial flop? What could go wrong, given that the first part earned over a billion dollars? Let's find out together! First things first, let's talk about the elephant in the room, or in this case, the big shiny multi-million dollar elephant. Yes, we're talking about the budget for the Marvels. It's no secret that making a superhero movie isn't cheap. High profile cast, breathtaking visual effects, and exotic filming locations all come with hefty price tags. But how much are we talking about here? The budget for the Marvels is reported to be a whopping $219.8 million, and that's before any reshoots or post-production work, which could add even more to the final cost. Of course, some of that expense is offset by subsidies, like the $55 million they received for filming in the United Kingdom. But still, that's a lot of zeros. Now, I know what you're thinking, but big screen business. Isn't this normal for MCU movies? And you're not wrong. High budgets are commonplace in the superhero genre. But here's the kicker. With the recent performance of MCU movies, the Marvels needs to bring in at least $439.6 million just to break even. That's a tall order, even for a Marvel movie. Especially considering the mixed comments under the trailers, waning interest in the film on the internet, and a few other factors that we'll get into in a moment. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but recent performances of MCU movies haven't been great. While Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 did well, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania is now infamous as Marvel's biggest box office bomb ever. And I don't mean bomb in a good way. Even on the small screen, things aren't looking up. The Disney Plus series Secret Invasion is the worst reviewed MCU project ever. Now, I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer here, but these are the facts. And facts are crucial when we're talking about silver screen business. Next, the IMAX issue. IMAX screenings can be a big draw for moviegoers. But recent news suggests that the Marvels won't be shown in IMAX theaters due to an exclusivity deal with Dune 2. This could potentially impact the film's box office numbers. Now, let's talk about Brie Larson. She's an Oscar-winning actress with undeniable talent, but for some reason, a certain section of the fandom just doesn't like her. And we all know how fan reactions can influence a movie's success. So, this could be another hurdle for the Marvels. Finally, there's the issue of the MCU's increasing complexity. With 9 TV shows, 32 films, and countless post credit scenes, it's a lot to keep up with. And let's be honest, no one likes homework. So, what's the bottom line here, folks? Well, it's hard to say. The Marvels is undoubtedly a high-stakes gamble. Or maybe there's still enough fuel there for the movie to be as successful as the previous part. To be honest, if it turns out to be just a good movie, fans will certainly help with that. What we can say for sure is that the movie industry is a risky business. And in this business, even superheroes aren't guaranteed success. But hey, that's what makes it all so exciting, right? That's it for today. Make sure to hit the subscribe button for more deep dives into the financial side of the movie world. And remember, in the big screen business, the only sure thing is that there are no sure things. Until next time!